Alex Krasuk, the promoter of Alexander Yusik, in an interview this week said the following, quote, I can't really say anything in particular because we're in the middle of negotiations, but I can say for sure if it's a fair deal when it comes to the unification, which is the undisputed unification where one fighter has three belts and the other fighter has one belt, a 50-50 split sounds fair. It sounds more than fair than it should be. If Tyson accepts this fair condition, it means he's a real warrior and he really wants to fight not just for money, but for heritage, for legacy, and for four belts in the biggest fight in heavyweight history at Wembley Stadium. Why not? End of April, beginning of May, perfect timing. But it has to be fair. As long as I'm representing Usyk, I will fight for fair conditions. Krasuk, who pointed out Fury's volatility and history of backing out of fights, said he remains really optimistic, quote unquote, that the two sides can come to an agreement as early as in the next three days. So those are the words of Alex Krasuk, the promoter of Alexander Usyk. Now, Frank Warren did an interview with TalkSport today where he was asked about the current state of play regarding these negotiations. And he made out as though things are looking very promising. Alex Krasuk is apparently flying to the UK tomorrow to have face-to-face -face talks with Frank Warren. He suggested that an announcement may be imminent, but he also suggested that if the fight doesn't get announced this week, if the deal doesn't get done this week, then it may not happen at all. The sticking point, as far as we can tell, appears to be this 50-50 purse split that Team Usyk are demanding and Team Fury are refusing. If no one is willing to concede, then apparently there's no fight. We're not privy to the alternative percentage that Team Fury are suggesting for Alexander Usyk. I wish we were, because it would give us a much better idea of whether Tyson Fury is serious about this fight or not. And whatever the case may be, even if we're just looking at the 50-50 scenario, Tyson Fury, as I mentioned in the previous video about this subject, when Anthony Joshua several years ago was still a bigger draw than the Gypsy King, Fury demanded 50-50 to fight AJ. But when the shoe's on the other foot here, in this Usyk negotiation, Fury won't concede in the way that he expected Anthony Joshua to concede, by way of purse split. Something which he himself demanded a few years ago is all of a sudden unreasonable when Alexander Usyk is demanding it. If, God forbid, this fight doesn't happen due to this 50-50 split issue, never again do I want to hear talk of Tyson Fury being a man of the people who would fight for free and give tickets away and give his purse away a charity and all this kind of nonsense. I don't want to hear any of that absolute rubbish ever again. Tyson Fury is all about the money, always has been, and that's okay. Just be honest about it. I mean, even AJ is coming out now being honest, saying he's all about the money. The Gypsy King should do the same. I mean, Derek Chisora has been doing it for years, right? He's been saying it's all about the money. Yes, he loves boxing and he loves fighting, but ultimately the bottom line for Del Boy is the money. Same goes for Tyson Fury. All this man of the people stuff is nonsense. And that's being generous, in fact, because it's on the assumption that this issue really is about money and not about Tyson Fury actually not wanting to fight Usyk and just looking for an excuse to go in a different direction and perhaps face Francis Ngannou, Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz, Joe Joyce, or somebody else. Anyway, let's hope that we get the best case scenario and somebody does concede. And of course, if Usyk concedes and Fury doesn't really want it, then the goalposts will presumably be moved again and there'll be some other issue. But that notwithstanding, let's hope somebody concedes, whether it's Fury or Usyk, and that both guys do really want the fight and we do get an announcement within the next seven days. So that's what we're all hoping for here. Hopefully we get it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalog of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app 
or download in high quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.